going on everybody welcome to the channel and today what i have here is the volantex rc's vector 70 the 70 centimeter brushless two channel rc racing boat almost ready to run version yeah this is an almost ready to run version it does not come with a transmitter nor a receiver so what i have done was i borrowed the transmitter and the receiver from its younger brother, the Vector SR48, which I have here. And I have done a review on this baby uh, not too long ago. So let me put it side by side here to show you the size difference here. Yeah, the Vector 70 is a huge boat. So I took the um, receiver right out from uh, the SR48 and it was just Velcroed down with two servo uh, wires connecting to it. So it was very simple. Just take it out and put it in the uh, new boat, the Vector 70, and it works perfectly. So uh, just a fantastic, this is a brushless model as well. And it did fantastic as well. Nice little boat, but as you can see, the size difference, wow. The Vector 70 is a 70 centimeter size. And if I pick it up, yeah, it is, pretty decent uh, weight as well so let's go ahead and look on the side here uh, there's the water outlet valve uh, on the bottom there's some uh, haul uh, ru runners on the bottom and like fins and if you look in the back here there's some stabilizer side fins two of them uh, made out of metal looks very sharp so be careful not to run things over or hit yourself with it some uh, flat stabilizer bars as well main rudder and the propeller now there's the water inlet valve hose and there's the metal tubing uh, to collect the water to go in uh, here's the cabin cover here's the uh, opening um, uh, knob that's the unlock position and this is the lock position and there is the antenna uh, grommet in which I put a dab of hot glue to close that baby up because the receiver doesn't support it sort of. So let's go ahead and open this baby up and check it out. Here's the cabin cover and on the bottom there's no um, rubber seal or anything like that. It's just a, just a cover without anything, just a plastic cover. And we have the rubber seal on the boat itself, uh, but it is not the best of uh, seal. So you will see later that I do have some water uh, going in the boat. Uh, I already took it out for a run this morning and tested it out. So it's a little bit wet, as you can see. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. But taking a look inside of the boat here, there is the uh, steering servo, and it is a 40-gram waterproof steering servo. And right on top of it, there's some uh, Velcro tab. That's where it's uh, supposed to ha uh, have the receiver go there. But uh, when I put the receiver here, uh, the height of the receiver was too high, and I wasn't able to close the cabin cover back on there and that's the reason why there's the antenna grommet right here so that's where it's supposed to go and the antenna supposed to come out and uh, there's a little antenna shaft that you're supposed to put here to make the uh, antenna stay still but uh, I wasn't able to do that so I put the receiver right here uh, just double-sided stick it tape to the side of the hall and there is the antenna just sticking out onto the side and there's that um, water inlet tubing going all the way around going through the motors going through the esc and coming out through the side here and the esc is a 40 amp water cooled waterproof esc and the motor is a 1800 kv motor supposed to uh, give you a speed of about 55 kilometers per hour on this baby here and it's a pretty nice hefty size uh, motor there and it does uh, provide a pretty decent steady um, smooth power as well so let's go ahead and put the baby down right on the stand here and oh yeah the stand the stand is made out of wood on this one yeah four pieces uh, just like any other RC boat stand, you just slide it and put it together. It comes in four pieces, which is a fantastic, uh, genius uh, concept. They make a little stand out of four flat pieces to situate your boat. Now you can put your boat on the shelf or 
on top of your TV or something and look looking very nice here. So the battery that they give you is a 2600 milliamp 3S uh, LiPo 20C, supposed to give you a runtime of about 15 minutes. So a fantastic size battery. We got the uh, instruction booklet as well. And we got the wall charger and the balance charger that plugs to it. And a bag of goodies. There's the antenna shaft, uh, extra set of uh, extra prop, uh, one prop. There's the bind key for the receiver in which I didn't have to use because I was just borrowing the whole set that was already bound from the uh, smaller brother. And there's an Allen wrench in here as well. And that is about it, guys. And this is the remote control that I'm borrowing from the uh, Vector SR48, the younger brother. Just your basic um, pistol grip remote control, uh, just like any other boat or RC. Uh, I believe you can use uh, a remote control and the receiver combo from a RC car and stick it on this boat and make it work as long as it has two channels, a steering and a throttle. So your basic uh, remote control here. Uh, we got the uh, steering rate adjuster here, the steering, uh, the throttle, and we got some uh, reverse switches here, a bind button here, an LED light here, and steering trim here and a throttle trim here. So your Basic RC car or boat remote control will work on this Vector 70. So like I said, I took it off for a run this morning. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of that footage. All right, here we are at the lake and there seems to be a lot of ducks today. And there's a little bit of texture on the water as well. Uh, there's a little bit of a breeze. We have the Volantex RC Vector 70 ready to go. I got a keychain camera attached to the top. I just uh, plastic wrapped it so we can take some uh, water videos. So let's go and do it right over here. That seems to be a little bit less ducks. And I'm pretty sure once I start running this baby, they'll move out a little bit, hopefully. Hopefully I don't run over any ducks today. So let's go. I'm going to go over to that dock launch area right over there. No swimming or waiting. So I'm not able to go after my boat if I lose connection. And the water doesn't look too good anyways. So looks like right here is a good spot to launch the boat. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's do this. All right. Let's see if she floats. Oh, I gotta turn on the camera. Yep, it's recording. All right. Maiden voyage of the Vector 70. Oh, I can tell right away that she's very smooth here. Uh, even in the little bit of the textured water. The turning radius is pretty good too. Oh yeah, it's got lots of power and very smooth power. 3S battery all the way. Nice, nice. Okay, full speed. Oh, yeah, she's got lots of power. Full speed. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a hopping and skipping. Okay, I think the ducks are getting the message a little bit.
very very nice let's just cruise oh I think I got real close to that one duck okay there's no ducks on this side except that lonely one over there make sure he is not coming this way nice wow it's a pretty big size boat 70 centimeters 700 millimeters so it is showing the benefits of the size very smooth Got sprayed. Nice. Yep, all of the ducks are moving out. And I got a big area where I can roam now. Full speed. Not bad at all. That was a full speed speed pass. Another one. Not bad at all. Nice. I don't know what the run time is on this thing. I don't think it's going to be that much. But not bad, huh? Woohoo! Let's just kind of cruise like real slow. And taking some videos of that little island, of the ducks, or the geese, just hanging out. All right. Very smooth power. Very nice. I think the wind kind of calmed down a little bit. There's less texture in the water as well. So hey, it's turning out to be a nice day. Just a little bit of texture there. Very nice controls this thing has. All right, I think that pretty much does it. One more speed pass. <laughs> Did I hit that cement? Let's check the damage. All right, I think it hit the side over here and ah, check it out. No damage at all. Nice. A little bit of scrape right here but that's about it nothing cracked so fantastic all right I think it did a 360 right there out of the water yeah lots of power on this one I think it got angry because I hit the uh, curb over here all right I think that just about does it all right just got done with the Volantex RC Vector 70 in the water uh, took the cap off the canopy that is and there's some water inside so the seal is not the very best uh, there's a little um, rubber that uh, you can release the valve here so uh, there was a little bit of water in there maybe about uh, maybe quarter of a cup yeah there was a little bit of water in there so everything is kind of wet on the inside here so gotta be careful with the seal here 
on this one.